Hey everyone, hope everyone is having a good week. I'm here because this week Warp launched bookmarking blocks, which is a very cool feature I'm excited to talk to you about. Fun fact, it was actually built out by a few of our engineers during our hackathon a few weeks ago during our uh, retreat to New York, and it is now released publicly on Warp. I'm going to walk through a quick demo of what it is, as well as cover some scenarios that I think it would be really helpful for. So without further ado, let's just dive into it. So here I have up my Warp term I'm gonna go ahead and navigate into my themes repository and then type in git branch uh, which is gonna output all the git branches I've created. Now with the new bookmarking blocks feature I can actually bookmark a block. So I prefer to use the keyboard shortcut command B. You can see that I've pulled up my accessibility keyboard here so you can see what I'm typing on my keyboard and I'm using command B to toggle on and off the bookmark. You can also click on this icon on the top right corner or click into the block menu and press toggle bookmark and all of those things achieve the same result. Now what happens when you bookmark your block? An indicator is going to show up in your scroll bar. So these indicators, at least for me, are great for knowing the chronology of the commands I've bookmarked as well as giving you a visual sense of how far apart your commands were run. If I scroll over these indicators, they actually tell me what directory I was in when I ran the command, uh, the command itself, and then actually tells me the last two out lines of output of this command. Another nifty thing is that you can use the option up and option down commands to jump between the bookmarked blocks. That way, if I do need to physically revisit one of these blocks, I don't have to play the scrolling game and scroll up and down to find those blocks again. And cool, that's a general demo of bookmarking blocks. A very, very cool feature. Now let's get into some of the specific scenarios that I think this feature would be really helpful with. Okay, I don't have a great repo to do this in, but I'm just gonna hop into Warp's open source themes repo and kind of use my examples there. So let's say I'm in my repo, whatever your personal repo is, and I'm in a branch that I just created to debug some stuff. I just wanna try things out. Um, you know, I'm going to pop into some files, chain things around. You can see in my example, I'm changing opacity numbers, you know, whatever you're doing to debug. It's not going to be the same for you, but just imagine you're doing certain code changes to debug whatever your issue is. Now, let's say at the end of this debugging session, I'm like, meh, you know, this branch is too messy. I don't want to have to work in this branch anymore. I want to go back to my main branch and try things there, but I still want to remember what changes I've made in this debugging session so I can inform future sessions. I have a few options here. One, I could commit my changes to this branch, but that means I would have to come back to this branch to see what changes I've made, and I don't really want to do that. Two, I could maybe stash my changes and then pop them later, but I might have to deal with merge conflicts later on, which nobody likes to deal with. The third option is that I can run git diff so it spits out all the changes I've made. Uh, you can see what files I've made them in, what the changes were, and then I can go ahead and bookmark this block. Then I can go ahead and just, you know, revert my changes, delete this branch, not think about it at all anymore. I can go back to my main branch, debug there, do whatever I want, but because this block is bookmarked, I can just go back to it and see what changes I've tried so that when I'm in my main branch, I can remember what I did during this debug session. Super, super helpful. Okay, another example where bookmarking blocks could prove very helpful is if you find a bug in your feature or product and you want to revert to a previous commit, but you're not quite sure when this bug happened and where it happened, so you don't know which commit to revert to. I'm gonna type out git log to see all the different commits I've done recently. So here you see me trying to revert to one of the commits. Let's say I test it out and the bug is still there, so I know that's not the stable one. Okay, so let me try reverting to another commit. Uh, maybe this one I try it out and I'm like, okay, the bug is gone. So I'm going to bookmark this block to signify that this is the stable commit. Now at the end of this session, you'll see that if I didn't bookmark any block, I would have to scroll up and try to find which commit was actually the one that didn't have a bug. But because I bookmarked the block, it's very easy to go back and I could even share the block or the permalink with a coworker or with my team so that, you know, we all know which commit number was the one that introduced the bug or which one everyone should revert to. Bookmarking blocks is an amazing feature. It's great for debugging. It's great for pinning command outputs that you might want to revisit later on. It's great for remembering the command that successfully completed a task that you wanted, especially when your terminal is filled with a lot of different commands 
it makes it very easy to find things. I hope this video was helpful. Um, as always, please go to our official documentation for more details on this feature, or feel free to comment on this video or tweet us if you have any questions or suggestions for this feature. Thanks for watching. See ya!